hi everyone welcome to java express academy today i'm going to explain okay how to define private methods in interface and what is the advantage of using private methods it is one of the uh, feature uh, in java 9 onwards okay um, let me open private interface methods in java 9 i mean uh, before java 9 i mean to say till java 1.8 in uh, like in interfaces we can define abstract methods default methods and static methods in java 9 onwards interfaces can have a private methods okay the private method can be a static private method and non-static private method okay when i say private no one can access only it uh, we can access within the interface only okay what is the advantage of using the private methods means we can reduce code duplication another point is code encapsulation will be improved by hiding implementation details i am going to explain one a real time example using private methods and default methods okay and just have a look in the high level overview in jdk7 abstract methods jdk8 abstract default and static methods in jdk9 newly added private methods this is the concept of the private methods in interface let me start coding part guys if you like our sessions please leave your comment and please like our youtube channel to promote for the new students here so if you more likes if we get it will reach to more audience it will be helpful for us okay so that i can do a more and more videos to you guys okay now let me create a fresh project i am creating a java project guys if you want to uh, practice all new java features please make sure install the latest version either jdk 17 or jdk 21 so that java 9 to java 16 all java features okay uh, we can practice here so don't uh, stick with the java 9 version please try to install jdk 17 in your local system okay so let me create a project uh, what i can take uh, let me provide a sequence number here 00 hyphen uh, private methods hyphen java 9 feature okay let me choose the next option and then finish it here <clears throat> okay here quickly let me create a package uh, com dot java express is my package so let me create a one interface okay interface name is a bank i'm taking one real time example okay for this bank i am creating one implementation called as a saving account is one of the class and let me create one test class as well okay uh, bank test here these are the test class in the bank let me create a couple of methods uh, double a uh, get balance i'm creating couple of methods a uh, wide uh, deposit okay uh, if anyone want to deposit we need to use a deposit method if anyone want to withdraw okay let me take another variable withdraw method these are the three methods are available for us right now okay now for the saving account what i can do let me implement the bank interface <clears throat> now let me implement all the methods here okay first if you want let me create a bank test here how to create a object for interface now bank b equals to new saving account okay now this is the one initially if whenever you want to create a saving account uh, you should have some a minimum balance right what i can do here let me take uh, one variable uh, private um, uh, double balance so whenever you are creating it should have some initial balance let me create a constructor here as well constructor using the fields generate okay now this is the uh, this is the initial balance for us let me generate setter and getter methods for the balance as well okay for the balance only i should have a get method it should not be any set method select the getter here select getter okay let me generate it here yes uh, we have a get balance 
okay set balance is not required right now okay uh, i will initialize through here okay whenever uh, user is depositing some amount so for uh, suppose you are uh, deposit 500 so i should double my value right so what i can do balance okay let me add to the amount this is the amount so um, let me balance okay whenever you are withdrawing the money just i want to withdraw the money so just i'm decrementing to main amount here so hope uh, my saving account this class is testing is completed now let me go for the um, bank test here so let me add some thousand rupees okay this is clear okay now here uh, uh, we need to perform we need to execute transactions what kind of transactions like i want to a uh, deposit i want to withdraw these two methods i want to call and then i want to display my final balance what is the balance i have uh, b dot <clears throat> get balance i'm using now see here now inside this bank interface i am writing a couple of methods please have a look here what i am writing i am writing one default method hope in java 8 we can define default methods so i am writing one method called execute transaction okay i am providing what is the type it can be a deposit or it can be a withdraw and how much amount you want to uh, deposit how much amount this is a a default method guys okay now how to call this method in the test like it should be b dot <clears throat> i want to withdraw right b dot execute transaction okay uh, what i can say like what will be the type now my type will be a either you can define the constants as well no issues now deposit okay i want to deposit suppose 500 okay now b dot <clears throat> no this is a default method slowly we can discuss about the private method as well here so withdraw so that it will be easy to explain whenever you are giving uh, interviews also some they can ask you hey what is the real time example where you will use then it will be uh, useful to you right right <laughs> Now, let me go to execute. Now, here what I am doing, inside a bank, if, if type, okay, equals, okay, if it is a deposit, I want to do some logic, okay, else, either it can be deposit, either it can be a, uh, I mean to say, uh, either transaction should be fail either deposit withdraw if you send as a, another attribute it will fail now it will be a kind of a withdraw method let me write withdraw method okay if nothing is matching i should throw some exception like system dot out dot print ln i can say transaction failed okay suppose some transaction is failed now here whenever you are using a deposit i want to call as a deposit method with that amount okay whenever you call a withdraw amount i want to call it as a withdraw amount as of now i have implementation classes saving account so no issue at all now here if you observe i want to display the logs see here system dot out dot print ln now i want to display what is the transaction type I want to display as a transaction type system dot out dot print ln how much amount okay how much amount I am depositing okay and system dot out dot print ln what is the current balance whenever anyone is depositing amount okay I want to see whenever you are depositing i want to display these logs whenever you are withdrawing i want to display these logs if you observe here there is a these three lines of code and these three lines of code is a duplicate i want to reduce that code okay duplication i want to reduce so in java 9 we can define the private methods private void log transaction here let me use what is the type and what is the amount see 
this piece of code, how I can duplicate, uh, how I will reduce my code. Let me cut and paste it here. That's it. Now, this method will be uh, useful for both use cases. This is one of the, so many use cases we'll get here. Just I want to amount. That's it. Log copy and paste it here. That's it. Now go ahead and run this application. Run as Java application. See, deposit 500, okay, current balance. Okay, I'm getting current balance as a zero. We'll see uh, what is the issue this one. <clears throat> um, then here we have a withdraw method and here, okay, uh, why it is a zero, okay. We'll go to our uh, saving account. Uh, here get balance is zero. So I want to return this is the balance here. Then you will get correct output. Right click, run as Java application. See, 500 current balance is 1500. Transaction type is withdraw. 200 I want to withdraw. So then overall the current balance is 1300. This is the final balance. Now if you observe here, I want to withdraw 1200. Then see, run Java application. What happened? Still your balance is showing 100. This is again a wrong. Okay, here 1200 I want to address. See, 1000. Okay, let me make it as a 2000 here. See here. 1000, uh, 500, deposit 1500. If you withdraw 200, how much will be 1300? But I'm withdrawing 2000. If you do a 2000, again, minus balance. Even I want to avoid this piece of uh, uh, this piece of logic how to avoid see here again I want to define another private method here just have a look guys private okay I'm taking boolean I want to create a method okay sufficient funds okay I want to create one private method whenever anyone is withdrawing first I want to verify whether your amount has a uh, correct balance or not, whether you have a sufficient balance available or not. So whenever it is depositing, he should have greater than or equals to, this is the condition, uh, amount, okay? Now, this piece of code where I want to write, see here, if anyone is withdrawing, I want to check this condition as well, see, sufficient. If then, if you have a not sufficient balance, it will throw exception. Transaction fail, like here I can say uh, insufficient funds. If you see, okay, C-I-E-N-T, sufficient funds. See here, now this is a correct piece of code. Now let me run this application. Run as Java application. See, transaction failed, insufficient funds. You cannot withdraw here, have a look here. Okay, this is use case where you can use the private methods, even in the same way, you can create a static methods as well for the private. Okay, hope you like this session. Guys who are watching this session, really if you like, please click a like button and leave your comments so that I can do more videos for you guys. Thank you guys.